Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another episode of Just My Opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. This right here, we're talking season one of Power Book Two, Ghost. And it's kind of weird to say season one, Power Book Two. I don't know if this would really be considered season seven, but I think you guys get the idea. And this one right here is focusing on Tariq. Apparently, there are going to be a ton of series branching out from all the main characters and we're starting out with Tariq. Now, it's quite interesting because if you saw my past power videos, I did not like Tariq's character. I thought he was annoying, um, just entitled, asshole, brat type of character. I really wanted him to get his butt whooped really bad. I was already saying that Ghost would just mm, lean into him, punch him in the chest just one good time to set him in his place. That never happened, unfortunately. Actually, he's the one that got hit in the chest and he's no longer here. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. And just real quick before I get into the episode, I was really considered when I was in like episode, not episodes, but season five or six of Power, I was like, do I really want to start keep either watching the show or recapping the show? Because I just didn't like the way it depicted black people, you know, just this family right here. But there's just so much death and destruction and then everybody's tearing each other down. And I'm like, this is just not good. I don't know if I want to promote this. However, I stuck with it and I love of the entire moral of the story and that is it's like if you live this life they're living in power you're going to end up either dead or in jail so it's just like teach you unless it's like hey if you want to end up being dead or in jail you can live this life if you want to i'm not trying to shame anybody if they live this life you know as black people we don't get as many chances awarded to us as people in other groups you know crime is uh you know it comes from poverty and you know i can go down that tangent right there but i really do like that you know in power pretty much everybody ended up dead like everybody no one got any money tasha's in jail ghost is dead Tariq didn't get the inheritance you know his father made it made it to where he was like look if you want the money you got to go to school and get an education i like that okay um and so um that is another reason why i'm here now with episode one titled stranger I really did like the episode overall. Um, you know, there were some things that I did not like, to which we will get into that. But with me not liking Tariq, you know, I wasn't that excited about this show. Uh, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a chance. And I, I'm liking it so far. I really think that Tariq can come through and redeem himself and possibly learn from the mistakes that he made in, in the past. And I, I like the way he's being pushed, just kind of jumping forward, kind of towards the middle of the episode. Uh, prof uh, the Professor Miriam, um, I, I like her. I like that, you know, uh, not Professor Mi Miriam, Professor Milgram. I like her and I like the uh, relationship that she was having with Jabari and um, how he had to do the oral exam for reading the book for the canonical studies or whatever. You know, I, I mean, that's just pushing education right there. Different perspectives on life, different walks of life. And that is just something that I did appreciate. You know, one of the things I liked the most out of the episode so far. But jumping towards the beginning of the episode, like I said, title strangers. I like how they started everything out off with the recap, letting you know not everything but just some of the important details just going over from the first show carried over um to this one right here um and w going into this i didn't watch any trailers any previews uh any marketing material promos or anything like going into this so i was just kind of going into this episode kind of blind not remembering much from the past but you know that could have been a good thing but the beginning of the episode, we got Tariq. He's going to Stansfield, which uh, he got a hookup from Simon from the past season. You know, he wanted truth. And Tasha was like, OK, if that's the case, you got to help my son get in. But, you know, they kind of threw um, a little twist in there to my, well, hey, Tariq, you know, we got this dude over here, Ezekiel. He's a basketball player. You know, if he doesn't if he doesn't play, then you don't stay or whatever. So that's just kind of like challenging Tariq's um, uh, abilities even more on, you know, this Weasley snake character he is. And I'm just thinking, okay, you know, how is he going to get out of this? Is he going to inspire Ezekiel to actually study? Is he going to do all of his homework for him? And then we see that, uh, you know, Ezekiel is kind of, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, being forceful, just like, yeah, you know, make sure the paper looks like I did it. OK, it's doing a week, you know, and I can already tell that these two characters are going to clash right here. You can if you I'm sure you saw the episode because I am spoiling it. I didn't let you guys know this is a spoiler episode. I'm going to spoil up, down, left, right, in and out as if you already seen it. So if you haven't seen the episode, 
press pause, click watch later, go watch it, come back, subscribe, and then we can get all the spoilery goodness right here. But if you, of course, if you've seen the episode, you know towards the very end, um, they have the promo for next week's episode. And then he just, Ezekiel just throws down another book. And it's just like, listen, bro, I think this book is, I mean, this paper or assignment is due like day after tomorrow. I can just already see, and this is my prediction, I could be wrong, that Tariq is going to be like, bro, you're getting on my nerve, dude. You're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I agree to help you and not just do, I mean, I got this canonical studies class. You need to pull your own weight or whatever, you know, and I don't know. We're, we're, that's that's going to be interesting because uh, we also, I don't, I'm talking about next episode more than I'm talking about this one. Well, I, I'll save all that for the end just a little bit, but Tosh is in jail, okay? Uh, she got these jailhouse braids. Um, you know, the uh, not the warden, but one of the police guards is I think her name is Monique or Monica. I can't remember. It's kind of giving her a hard time, um, you know, just kind of like rubbing her the wrong way, you know, picking on her. Um, you know, she, Tasha trying to play the innocent. Like, look, she's like, I, I've been doing this a long time. OK, if you ain't woke up next to the body, you know, we're not trying to hear all that or whatever. Now, Tamika is coming back in this episode, too, as the lawyer, as the attorney for Tasha. And I like Tamika. I really do. Um, I'm liking her a bit more than I did in the past um, series of Power, the, the regular series. But, you know, she's coming through pretty strong. I'm really liking her performance. And I just knew at the end of the last season that Tasha would just put away, that she just wasn't going to get out of jail. And I don't watch every Law and Order show or that has to do with court proceedings and things of that nature. But I always just find it e interesting for me personally that... Anytime, or for me personally, like I just said, anytime a character just seems like they're, they're going to get the book thrown at them, a life in prison or 50 years or something like that, or they're not going to get out of this mess. You know, you got all these lawyers and prosecutors using all these laws and jargon and stuff to make deals and weasel in and out of this. And I'm just like, man, I did not see how Tasha could possibly get out of this. But, you know, if she admits that she has an accomplice. You know, she can get out of there the next day, but she's feeling some type of way and she just kind of fires Tamika. And I understand that she's trying to protect Tariq. You know, that's her son. I, You know, I think any woman that would, you know, possibly do that in any situation. But, you know, it, it's just a bad decision, in my opinion, overall. And, um, you know, we're, we're just going to kind of see how that plays out. Now, I kind of just want to go uh, back over to Ezekiel real quick because um, it's just something that really stood out to me with his character. His real name is uh, Daniel Balomi. His character's name is Ezekiel Z. Cross. You know, and um, I don't know how excited you guys were that Mary J. Blige was showing up in this uh, episode. But, you know, she is uh, she's playing Aunt Monet and she's the aunt of Ezekiel. And. Um, one of the things that I did like about this scene to where Ezekiel takes um, 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 Tariq to the house, to Aunt Monet's house, Mary J. Ball's house or whatever, just, you know, hey, everybody's saying congratulations to me because I'm in Stansfield. They know you helping me out. They want to meet you, too. I do. I do like uh, Deanna Tejada, played by Latoya Tanadio, uh, Latoya Tonodio. I've never heard of her before. Um but apparently she was, uh, no, she was not in the first um, Power series. I just miss saw that. But I don't know. I was feeling her. I like her character. I wonder, I wonder, I hope that something, I mean, if she's a good character, I hope that something blossoms between her and Tariq or her or Tariq and Lauren. You know, um, in the promo for next week, we kind of see that, you know, he's kind of getting in with both of them. Um, and that I think she met dropped a line just like, you know, hey, I heard that you asked my cut, co my cousin or my brother, Zeke. I think Zeke is a brother. I can't remember. It's how uh, yeah, it's a brother permission to date me. And he's kissing her, but he's kissing Lauren. But I, I mean, I don't know. Um, they both seem like very interesting characters. Lauren, she was early on in the episode, which was helping Tariq find the building, which is like, you know, hey, you know, you lost and they're kind of like walking through campus. But like um, um, Deanna was really feeling tra uh, not Trey. She was really feeling um, Tariq. You know, she as soon as he came over and introduced himself, she's smiling, taking it back. You know, at one time they're conversing. She, you know, gives him a long pause, look at him up and down. <laughs> That's quite interesting, you know. So uh, he just, I don't know. Uh, she has the hots for Tariq. So, you know, we'll kind of see how that plays out. But with the whole thing with Monet, with Mary J. Blige, that whole scene to me was like, not the whole scene. I was trying to say the whole scene was corny. The Mary J. Blige pop-up was really corny to me. I really wasn't feeling the acting, just to be honest with you. 
Uh, I feel I, I don't know if I want to say I feel sorry for old dude. What's his name? Rail or little rail? Like, bruh, you go to the party, man. Your girl sneaks off and sucking up another dude in the bathroom. Like, why do you still want her? Like, if if it comes to that to where you're having to search her down at a party, you know she's not down for you like that. I mean, like, bro, it it sucks. I know your feelings are hurt. Let it go. Move on. And then you got your ass kicked by the guy that was getting service for me, woman. It's just like, golly, man, it don't get no worse than that. That that sucks. That's horrible. You know, um, and then, you know, then he come back with the gun and I'm just like, what are y'all cousins? Your brothers? What are y'all doing? You're fighting each other. This is stupid. OK. And I just really wasn't feeling like when Mary J. Blanche popped up. When Monet popped up, I was like, man, this is just really corny. Hey, what's going on out here? And I see, you hear a woman in the background like, oh, damn, y'all, that's Monet. Like, they're just trying to plant like, okay, this is like a big pivotal character right here, and we should look out for her. So first impressions are everything, and my first impression of uh, Monet just wasn't the best. Uh, later on, that you know, we see that um, um, that character that, you know, was getting service in the bathroom shoots the other guy that he was beating, beefing with you know, in the stairwell or whatever. And I just think that's horrible. I mean, unless I'm getting my characters mixed up, I'm like, golly, I mean, like, y'all just don't value life at all in this show. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, and hopefully this is over something else and not just a female. Um, but, you know, yeah. So, but going back to Tasha, you know, her, she just really needs to get her stuff together because she's lying, talking about she's the shooter. She tried to blame it on Andre. I um, mean, you know, he wasn't a shooter as well. You know, we find out that Sax is involved. I don't like his character either. You know, he's the one that um, got Tamika to uh, hire. Um, no, he's the one that got Tamika. He's the one that got Tasha to hire Tamika, you know, uh, because he was seen by uh, Tariq, you know, in the last show, you know, during the last scenes, you know, at Truth or whatever. But um, I don't, I, you know, I don't like uh, Cooper Sacks. I think he's a, he's a snake as well. Um, I, I, I just don't like the guy, and I, I think something needs to happen to him. Maybe they can just write him out of the show or whatever, but I'm not feeling him. But another character that I am feeling right now is uh, Method Man's character uh, as the lawyer. Um, I haven't seen him in any type of entertainment in quite some time. Um, it's been a while. The last thing on my mind right now is how high, and that was when I was in high school. So uh, I'm pretty. I mean, I know he's been in other stuff. I just haven't seen him, but I really am liking his character so far. Uh, you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing you know how he's going to be developed over the next coming episodes. His name is Davis McLean as uh, Clifford Method Man Smith. So. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to see. Um, I, I, I'm liking this character so far. So I'm liking Tamika. I'm liking Myth and Man. Um, surprisingly enough, Tariq is uh, winning me over. I'm liking Lauren from the beginning. I, I mean, I'm pretty much liking every character so far except for Zeke and except for uh, Sax and Mary J. Blige. So those are the three characters that I'm really just not feeling right now. Uh, but we also see that Effie's back from the last episode that screwed over Tariq. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that Tariq, you know, really didn't show any emotions to her when he was going to go get the product to drop off uh, at the uh, at the stripper. I even like the stripper. I forgot her name, but she was like, yeah, I got to get in here real quick because so and so be using the good glitter and wasting on the floor. Ah, you know, I don't know. This is something about her. I, I, I like her, too. So I'm pretty much liking every character except for Zeke, except for uh, Monet and except for uh, Cooper Sacks. Um, and so, you know, and another thing that I'm really liking about the show is, uh, you know, one of the soundtracks, the, the, the musical themes that they, they're bringing over from the last show as well. Uh, Jacob Blake's Monster. Um, they use that song five or six times in the show and it just helps transition, you know, from one scene to the next. And I really like that progression right there. I don't know. It just kind of really just stood out to me. Um, I caught myself actually trying to Shazam the uh, the music to see exactly you know what was the name of it so I can listen to it on my own time. But um, I, when I put on the subtitles for the show, that's when it actually came up, and you know I, I did appreciate that there. I also like that Tariq uh, admitted that he didn't finish the book, and I like that he was unapologetic about his feelings about the book and how he disagreed with the character when he knew that that's not what the professors uh, wanted to hear, um, and so. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like the way that he was just really standing on his feet right there. It kind of just really shows me that he's growing, um, becoming a young man. You know, I don't know. Just 
standing in his own two feet. And I like that about his character. But like I said, Tasha really needs to get it together. I mean, she fired Tamika. You know, she gets this defense attorney. That defense attorney was horrible. Um, you know, and you can just see it all over her face. Like, I don't think she's going to win in court if she just doesn't get to get it together. Um, you know, she's lying towards the end, talking about um, that it was Tommy Egan. And uh, we have that other Democrat that was trying to um, represent Ghost, uh, James St. Patrick, of course, from the last show. I don't, I keep saying, I don't know if I want to say last show or last season, you know, but he's trying to get like a Rico kingpin, queenpin, you know, case um, because he's just. I, I, don't, I don't truly understand his full motivation as of yet. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it just like, why are you there? Uh, maybe I haven't put it together, but I just think he should go somewhere. Uh, but again, I was laughing. That was one of the things I was laughing at the most in the show is that horrible defense attorney. I mean, she had papers from here to Kalamazoo everywhere, just like wasn't organized at all. Something real quick I also want to add is when uh, Sax, Hooper Sax came over to Tamika's house and he's asking those stupid hypothetical questions. She kicks him out. She's like, I don't know you. I don't know. I just really laughed doing that part right there. But, you know, we're coming up towards the end of the episode. Um, you know, Tariq is trying to hire uh, Method Man's character, uh, Davis McLean. And, um, you know, it cost 500 k and I think he only gave him 50 k That's why he owed him a 450 But um, I like the way things are popping off at the end. I mean, Tariq you know, he's a manipulator. He did the IG live thing and, you know, kind of forced his hand. Uh, but, you know, things are really getting good. I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, Method Man comes through, you know, with a good performance because I mean, I just genuinely, genuinely like the guy. I mean, I always have, uh, you know, his music was cool for me back in the day. Um, the few movies or, or TV shows or entertainment that I've seen him in, I was always entertained and I just like seeing people make it. So, um, while I wasn't excited about the show initially, um, I can say that I, I am on board now, um, especially with the lessons that it can, that this is teaching. Yes. Even though this is black people living in a death and destructive world, you know, what can you learn from it? I mean, just like I will always push education. I will always push reading books. Uh, I'm not judging anyone that are forced into or forced or born into certain lifestyles, but you know, if if you choose not to do the best you can and live this life because for whatever reason, I'm, I'm you know, read between the lines, guys. I mean, it leads to death and destruction. Um, and so, I mean, that's just something that you can really take away from this. And so we'll see what happens next episode. We're possibly going to be getting a ghost funeral. I wonder if Tommy's going to show up and, you know, and all that good stuff. I know that I, th I believe that he has a show that's going to be sending around him as well. But I wonder if he's going to pop up in this, too. So, guys, let me know what you thought about the show. Let me know what you thought about my breakdown, my little analysis. Let me know everything. Just spoil below in the comments. My guys, that is just my opinion. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and look me up on social media. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget to always chase your dreams because I'm chasing mine. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.